I've got three new stories I want to really quickly show you. Okay? Now, um, each of them gives you a slightly different angle on why this is important. So this is, um, I, it's, a, it's a woman from um, the UK, that's why it's in pounds, okay? What's happened, she's had a holiday, she's got her phone there, and our phones can access the internet mostly, wherever you are in the world. So while she's in Turkey, and by the way, this is actually a, um, this is actually a somewhat old story. This is a whole lot worse now because she deliberately went on Facebook to put up some photos, right? But depending on the phone that you've got set up, right? If you've got like um, iCloud backup or Google Photos or something like that on your phone, it will just start uploading photos without telling you because it's trying to give you a hand and back up things so you don't lose them, right? Yeah. And it's going to incur data costs. Now this happened, this is a big deal, right? And this is not an isolated story. Let me give you another one. Do you have a question, sir? Uh, About the story? Yeah. Um, look at this one. Okay. Now, this is a story that's primarily about people complaining about the costs of their data. Okay. Uh, and particularly about like people saying, "Hey, I got charged this amount, but um, I wasn't supposed to be charged this amount." So the example that they give here is this woman. This is um, again um, Australian. You've got this several thousand dollar bill. And she, she somehow went over three, her 300 gig allowance. Now, she disagreed with this, okay? Now, clearly, if this happened to you, you'd be like, yeah, really? Really? Like, I don't think this happened. Now, think about this for a second, okay? They've gone to the ombudsman to, to disagree with this, okay? And so you should, and I believe it was repealed eventually. How do you think that's going to happen? Do you think you're just going to go up to them and say, hey, I didn't do it? They're going to want some evidence, right? They're going to need an explanation from you to say, no, this is what my usage actually says, this is how much I'm supposed to be charged, and this is how much you charge me, and that's wrong, okay? So you want to be able to say, okay, this is what I did, this is how much it should have cost, even if usually this just happens in the background without you um, worrying about it, okay? Now I've got one more story, which is really just for the laughs. Have a look at this one. Just go to the top. Just have a look at that um, <laughs> title. Okay. Now, this is just a, a stuff up, basically. Okay. This is just a stuff up. However, it had some real implications for him. What it's happened was, um, stuff up. you know, you know, we talk about scientific notation, <laughs> scientific notation, and how the important number is is the significant figures, right? The ten to the power of whatever. Okay. So someone somewhere had a bit of a problem with their ten to the power of whatever, because instead <laughs> of charging you two hundred twenty-five dollars, which, by the way, can I just add, that's still a huge amount yeah. of money. Okay. Instead of charging him that much, they charged him. This much. Now, as you can imagine, right, you, you can read this article if you like. He looked at his phone and he's like, huh, that's not what I intended to do. And then he called and they're like, ah, don't worry about it. Obviously, you don't have that amount of money in your bank account, so you can ignore this. Um, so he did. And then this happened. This is his... Um, Oh. This is his bank account, right? So this is just the, I actually I have this, I have a CBA app on my phone, right? And it shows you how many available funds, how much available funds you have. And as you can see, he has rather not very much, right? Now what's yeah. happened, his account is overdrawn because back when he just um, automatically um, said yes and um, put through his fee, which he thought was 225, it put in the 220, the 2.2 million or whatever that was erroneous. But they've just pulled that out of his bank account and it just said, well, okay, you don't have that, it's cool. We'll just call you in debt to us, $2.2 .2 million, which is exactly what his, um, his bank account says. Now, what do you think would be the, fe the effect on him of s open up his phone and seeing this? What's gonna, what practical effect is that gonna have? Locking your phone and putting it back down. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna not put that away, okay. If your funds, uh, rather, if your bank account is overdrawn, obviously the bank's got, not going to let you keep on drawing money out of that because how do we let you draw this amount in the first place? So, how do you think he was able to, like, you know, buy lunch that day or catch a it bus? Said, it said or that he was going, was trying to order an Uber yeah. and then that yeah. happened. No, that's so right. he couldn't get where so, he was So, when I go to the shops, right, and I go and put something, I, I don't carry almost no cash anywhere because I don't really need to. So I'm going to go to the F plus machine and I'm going to tap my card and it's going to say card declined. I don't know how many of you've ever had this happen to you on your like yeah. just your regular debit card, right? Yeah. That's not cool. That's not cool having all of your access to just your daily kinds of things happen to you because a bit of a stuff up, right? They yeah. took it back, right? They did take it okay, back. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> but, but here's the thing though. How long do you think it took them to 
take it back. It takes at least three to five business days for a transfer to go into your bank account. It took him days. Good job, Renee. Days with no access to money of any kind. Even though it got fixed, that's kind of a bit of a big deal. Does this make sense? To be paid 